Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. So a question that is commonly asked is this. Is God a just God and a judging God or a God of compassion and of mercy? Because in the Old Testament, we read about God imposing destruction and um, bringing chaos at times. However, in the New Testament, we see Jesus talking about compassion, talking about mercy. And so what is God? Which, what kind of nature does God have? And the answer is this, God has both. And to explain this, I'm gonna share with you guys a story which a priest told me. And so, so one day there was a judge and a judge, this judge was caught, of course in court. And then a criminal came in because he had committed a crime. So after the hearing, the judge makes the final verdict and says, you are going to prison for, for this amount of time because of this crime that you have committed. And so the judge was, did what was just, sent, sentenced this man, uh, this criminal into prison. However, after some time, this very judge felt sorry for this criminal, had compassion for this criminal, and so decided to f go to the prison and set the criminal free. And so this judge in the story, we see two sides. We see a just judge, uh, a judge who was um, doing what was justice, but we also see a compassionate, merciful judge. So God is both. He is both justice but he's also a God of compassion, of mercy, of love. And in today's gospel, we see Jesus bring both sides of God. Because in today's gospel, we read a verse, which is a very well-known verse, which is John 3.16. And it says this. <clears throat> so it says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes him may not perish, but have eternal life. So, my dear friends, the fact is this. The sins that we commit on this earth does deserve punishment. And in that sense, for our sins, punishment is just. So, whilst God is just, he also shows compassion towards us because rather than us perishing for our sins, what does God do instead? To be, just and to be just and compassionate towards us, he sends his only son. So he punishes his only son so that we, are, we do not perish, but that we can have redemption and that we can have eternal life and that we can be set free from this and that is why God sent his son into this earth so right now we are um, in this period of Lent and we are journeying towards the cross in which our redemption lies in which compassion is shown love is shown and so this period of Lent is a time for us to journey towards that and so I want to um, remind you guys of this, that as we journey towards this cross, God is reminding us that he has so much compassion for us, so much mercy for us. And whilst we live in a world of darkness, of sin, God has sent his son to be that light that shines on us, that sets us free, that shows us what the right path is that we have to take. And Jesus himself says that the people who are in darkness are the ones that are, that don't listen, the ones that are in their evil ways. And the ones who are good, the ones that are in the light are the opposite, are the ones that do what is good. And so, what this time of Lent is for us is a time for us to reflect also on our actions and remind ourselves and think to ourselves, am I living 
a, the good life right now. If not, l use, let's, l let's, um, let's use this Lenten season as a season of repentance to come back to the light. Because God is so full of compassion and he has given you the gift of salvation which is through Jesus. And we have to accept this gift. And once we have accepted this gift, we are on the path of redemption. So my dear friends, let's not let this Lenten season go to waste, but use this Lenten season as an opportunity, as a gift that God has given you to come back to him, come back to the right path come back to repentance, return to him like the prodigal son did. And so, my dear friends, I'm just going to end now with the same scripture, the same verse that we've read today in today's gospel, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. Hope you have a great week ahead. God bless.